Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here, 25 August. Another day, another risk on. Look at the long bond futures here. Traded all the way up to 180 yesterday. Just kind of annoying. Back down at 179 now. This, this chart's slightly delayed. It's figure one at the moment. Looking for this to continue in the range here until uh, the big auction first week in September. So core short still the way uh, ZB. Let's take a look at ES. Trade up to 46. Basically 100 handles last four days since the 33.50 lows. Don't know why or when this is going to stop. Um, so just have to be patient. Sort of one standard deviation today is 58. If you want to play on the short side, the gap fill is 28. Should see some support down there, 25, 28 on the day. If you want to play on the long side, um, we're at the point where you just you can't really look at this as a value trade. You just have to look at it as just a, pr a price and a flow. So I don't really know what to do with it. Seems pretty extended for four green days in a row. We've had plenty of times where we have five green days. Not super often, but here we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically almost nine here. So still bid. Yes, still bid. Gold not doing much. Uh, looks like she wants to go down again. You want to watch fixed income on this. If rates do go higher, gold uh, will have to correct lower. Let's look at the sterling programs here. This 130.60 area, very interesting. Traded down to 54 overnight, but it was in the. Um, you know, is in sort of the dick fuck period where no one knows how to trade cable in, in New York. They don't, they just trade it on based on order flow. They don't trade it as a theme or they don't take risk on it. They're just clearing stops. So are we going to get a shot at the downside today? We, we don't really have much news out. It's CBI, which is not very useful. We'll see. This looks like it's it's driven by risk on, risk off more than anything. So we probably need stocks to go down for this to to get through this 130.50. But we, we deem this an important level, 130, sort of 50, 60 area. Sterling again, same thing. 138.29. So we have this 25 low here, 29 low yesterday. 36 low so far today. I think back down through 29, you're going to get some risk. There'll be some stops down there. There'll be some momentum players. So keep an eye out for that. Euro, not doing anything. Middle of nowhere. This could go either way. She feels like she wants to go lower, but um, you know the next interesting point is 117 to figure, so not much to do in Euro today. Dollar Swiss, the same. Dollar Yen, the same. Uh, patience in the currency world. Dollars are, we have some tiny longs on. The big, big support is 1680. Are we going to get it? Maybe. Um, you know, we're risk on again today, so this should lean to the left. Trying to build some longs down here. Slightly frustrated with it. Uh, let's see what happens. Aussie, nothing to do, middle of nowhere, Euro Aussie, same thing, we're still watching 165.50, Aussie Yen, nothing to say, these lows here are of interest, but really nothing to do here as well, Kiwi not bid, not sure what's going on with Kiwi, but she is not bid, um, but again, low, low vol and a risk on, uh, atmosphere. No sense, you know, plowing into Kiwi right now either side. 
dollar cat I don't really begin to understand what's going on it looked very awkward yesterday and now it looks very bid are we going to be able to clear this 132.45 it's kind of an interesting sort of technical point um, let's get rid of this shit got some clear air and some upside it must have been some CAD news that I missed um, I guess there's some squabbling on trade um, with Canada right now but uh, it's been a funny one to trade. This trend line's gonna be on a lot of people's radar. Where does that fucker come in? 73. Huh, weird bar and dollar cad yesterday. I'll have to look into this a little bit. 44, 72, huh. No CAD uh, news today. Corporate profits at 2.30, whatever the hell that is. That can't be good. And uh, Governor Council Shembri? I don't know. He must be on the Bank of Canada Council. Anyway, watch this, uh, watch this 45 level. We don't like to trade dollar CAD too, too much in, in Europe. So this is maybe uh, for when the North Americans come in. Anyway, interesting. Tesla. Bearish engulfed. Um, but not really powerfully, right? If we had closed down here, that would be powerful. Um, we have these tiny shorts on. I'm just mentioning it just because we're trading it at the moment. Uh, nothing really to see here. We're going to have to clip out of these at break even if it gets back up to 60, which it very well might today. Apple, which is driving the world, did have a red bar, but a bit of a tail on the downside. Watching Apple just as a canary for the rest of the world. Um, pretty straightforward. As Apple goes up, markets go up. As Apple goes down, markets go down. Bitcoin not doing much. Um, just sitting here on the 11 handle. Feels like she wants to drift down and back into the tens. Um, try and pick a couple coins up uh, if we do get down there. Uh, it's, it's the way we're, we're, we're throwing this strategy together. BTPs, again, also not doing much. We do like core short here. We do think there's going to be some hair in the soup uh, eventually but not doing much we're short up here at 148 just kind of chilling on the short side um, no real love on this position but we do like it and we're just sitting here patiently with the shorts anyway as you can see no real tactical uh, trades to to grip onto here in Europe. The best chart is this dollar CAD chart. Um, but we're risk on. Oil's not moving. Euro's not moving. Uh, why is CAD moving? We're going to look into this a little bit. I'll throw some tweets up if I find anything. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be a patient stay as far as trades in Europe. We are watching these downside levels in cable and sterling yen, but they're definitely not in play at the moment. Uh, and so we just remain patient. I suggest you do the same. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.